Hey guys, sorry about the uh, late video here today. Uh, I've had a little bit of a busy day, so I, this probably won't be coming out until like Wednesday, uh, 11 o'clock ish, maybe 12, midnight. Um, anyways, for today, I'm just going to take a quick look at something that I've been working on here for a while. Uh, it's a resin conversion kit from E2046 for a um, uh, Zaku 2 version 2.0. So I'll basically, uh, any resin kit comes in like a really ugly. Uh, Kind of whitish plastic, uh, basically just resin material, and all I've really done so far was just base painted it, and then went and kind of uh, did a little bit of a camo jungle scheme to it, which you might be able to see right on here, just a little bit of a darker green, and then a little bit of a brown, and just kind of combined all three of those. Um, right now I think I'm probably going to stick with that, I'm not sure. You can see here the original like olive drab green on the thighs. I'm not sure if I'm going to keep that yet or not. Um, I'm still kind of bouncing back and forth from the idea of like uh, either spray painting it that uh, darker kind of base coat green and um, doing a similar kind of camo scheme with that or just keeping it and just that way you can kind of see the difference. Um, right now I still have a long way to go with this guy. I'll just kind of give you a quick look here what it's going to possibly look like when he's done. So there he is, he's got his bazooka, and then obviously he also has his, um, I think, awesome uh, MG42 that he comes with. Yeah, that's really detailed. He's got the um, shoulder guard there. Really awesome stuff. Um, so I'm probably going to have him like kind of have that slung over his shoulder, or maybe just holding it up like that or something, then the bazooka in the offhand, they call him a uh, squad support type Zaku too. Um, give you a look at something I did. One problem I did encounter, which happens with every uh, resin kit, really no matter what, um, at least at some point to somebody, I like to think. Um, so right down here in the legs, you can see obviously there's a gap in this one, and not over here. Uh, there was originally a gap over in this guy as well. Uh, roughly around the same area that happened. What happened was when they went and poured the um, resin material into the mold, I don't think they accounted for um, the shrinkage that usually happens whenever you go and uh, do some kind of like molding like that. So it's the piece is too small, and you can see there's a little bit of gap up in here as well, and over there, and also a little bit of other uh, issues over in here. And what I've had to do is take like um, a squadron kind of filler putty, and I've just kind of filled in all that with uh, putty, and then sanded it down, and then just kind of painted it over. Um, I'm uh, I'm definitely going to have to give you a little bit more sanding over here because you can see that looks really bad. Um, also, all that texture over there, that's supposed to be like a, a Zimmerit paste, which was used to um, in World War II by the uh, Germans to go and... Um, uh, i trying to think of the word here. Uh, basically, what it does is it allows uh, magnetic mines to um, not stick to like metal tanks, or in this case, uh, leg armor, waist armor, chest armor, stuff like that. So if this guy's trudging through the jungle, somebody's got a bunch of like mines hanging, um, basically he won't go, you know, none of that'll stick to his armor anywhere that paste is, and um, basically it won't get blown up or blown off or whatever, take damage, whatever you want to call it. So um, that's why especially I want to get more of that uh, sanding done in there so it doesn't look really know, just bad it looks like you go from that textured look to then kind of a smoothie uh, plastic right in there but so we got a lot more uh, work to do with that getting some more putty on there and obviously a lot more painting to do I've got most of the skirt armor here um, cool thing this guy came with was the MG42 which is honestly I'd say like 80% of the reason I bought him was I saw it had an MG42 I was like wow that thing looks badass and I bought it um, he does come with two regular Zaku 2 uh, like drum mags, oddly enough, even though he uses the MG42, which comes with a like, typical kind of MG42 like drum mag that just pops uh, right in there like that. But, um, so I'm not sure why they included that. It looks cool. I'm definitely going to have it. Um, all the drum mags on him I have. Uh, I have a third one. I have an extra one over here somewhere. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have one on each. Oh, there we go. Uh, probably help if you guys could see that. Um, I'm going to have one on each uh, like piece of skirt armor. So I'm going to have one on the side, one on the butt plate, 
and then one on the uh, other side skirt there as well. And no cool thing about this guy guy is uh, all the skirt armor is significantly larger than the uh, standard one. So if I can find this here for you, but yeah, so the skirt armor is different. Um, obviously, all the uh, green, the dark green pieces that you see that I base coated are um, the kind of zimmerant paste. So those are all resin how to work with. All right, here's the skirt armor. So here is, let's see if I can get that off for you guys. Okay, so here's the original skirt, and then here is the new one, and you can see that is, like, it's it's decently larger. I'd say that's like, I don't know, maybe 30% larger, which I think is really cool. Just gives them this really more um, kind of menacing, kind of battle-hardened look. And so that's different. Um, all the leg armor is all the same, um, and then obviously the chest piece up here is a little bit different. It comes more to a point than, um, there you go, you should be able to see that. It comes to a point, whereas the regular Zaku 2 is more of a rounded off shape. Um, and then the shield as well is a lot larger than uh, the typical Zaku 2 shield. But, uh, other than that, there might be a couple small details, like on the head here, he's got two little... Uh, he's got a bump right here, right there, and one on the other side where the Zaku 2 usually has the indentations. He has like two little raised kind of rivet looking things. Um, that's really it. There's not a whole lot of cosmetic changes, more just the uh, larger looking armor, which I believe, which might be part of the, uh, the jungle type armor, but I'm not 100% sure. So, uh, that's... Gosh, I think that's really all the differences um, and modifications I really had to make. Oh, I had to, so where the normal Zaku 2, um, I don't know what the hell you want to call these things, like feet covers, uh, like fit right in there and snap in. Um, with the new shoes that he comes with, they aren't tall enough to go and like, there's a little bit of a gap in there. So rather than just fill it with putty, I thought, all right, I'll just go and clip the uh, raised bit of plastic there off. And then that's all the problems. Those just need to be glued in place whenever I'm done painting. And that'll be it. So, um, if you guys want to let me know what you think, if I should keep that uh, kind of olive drab color right there and there, or if I should go and paint it like a darker color and then do a camo effect, or if you guys think the, um, another kind of, the difference between like the, the camo and the olive drab looks kind of cool or something, let me know. Um, I don't know, it's, Hoping to have this guy completed here in the next week or two, but uh, we'll see how that goes. So, anyway, guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so down below. Um, I am still going to come up with a video every day this week, and obviously, you guys will be the first to know whenever I have a new one up. Uh, also, I do have an Instagram and a Facebook page. I will link both of those down below. Uh, if you guys want to go ahead and follow that, I do post pictures of uh, some other completed kits I have that I have not yet gotten the show off on the uh, uh, YouTube channel here, but hopefully I will get that chance soon enough. So, anyway guys, thanks for watching. Bye.